Maeve is the quarry engine, is a diesel that never stops working. But when things get tough, she'll always be helpful. Maeve says, big adventure. Once I got to leave the quarry to deliver one thing, but I never get any more chances like that. Never, she clawed. Diesel Ten didn't know how to answer. He felt bad for her. Mavis felt bad for herself. The next morning, Mavis requested that Thomas work in the quarry for the day. The fat controller said he was much too busy. So the next day, she requested that Percy work in the quarry. Percy was happy to, but he would be taking trains the whole day and into the night with the mail train. The next morning, Mavis felt like crying she was so sad. She sat there for a long time, until she had an idea. Diesel 10, she called. But she didn't get an answer. Oh, right. He's taking a train, she groaned. That's when she got another idea. She snuck out of the quarry. But she felt like she had forgotten something. The workmen were across, throwing fists in the air. She raced along the line. She'd stopped at Knapford. She'd been there before. That's when she remembered the docks. So she went to Titmouth to get some help. The engines would be helpful. But when she got there, there was a problem. The fat controller was there. She didn't want to be seen by the fat controller or she'd be in trouble. So she oiled on to the middle point, hoping it would get there. She tore two sets of points. On the second set, there was even a branch line as well. So Mavis headed there. The diesel had finally made it to a hill. Mavis was confused. But she still went down it. Whee! <laughs> she yelled. She turned a corner and saw the docks. She gasped, Whoa! She oiled down to the docks. She saw Salty. He was chilling in the seaside air when he saw Mavis. Hello, Salty. He, she yelled to Salty. Hello, he yelled back. Welcome to the docks. Mavis looked around. It was much different than the last time she was there. Whoa, she exclaimed. How do you like the upgrade? Salty asked. Impressive, Mavis replied. But Mavis wanted to explore more. So she went back to the main line. As she oiled down the main line, she saw Thomas. Honk, honk, Mavis honked. Thomas came to a screeching stop. Mavis, Thomas said in surprise. But she went on. She passed by a siding where her driver could have filled her tanks. That's when she stopped moving fast out of nowhere and came to a slow and stopped. Oh no, I knew I forgot something, she cried. So she sat there and mourned for a while. Soon Mavis had fallen asleep and her driver told the news to the fat controller over the phone. So the fat controller sent an engine to go save Mavis and bring her back to the quarry. The next morning, Mavis was back in the quarry again. The fat controller walked up to Mavis so he could talk to her. 
Mavis, I noticed that you came out of the quarry when you weren't exactly meant to. But since you don't go very far, I've extended your schedule for you to bring trains for the docks and back, he said. And Mavis felt great.